Hey guys, in this video we will try to save problem on projections of solids. The question will be something like this. This is pretty basic question. Pentagonal pyramid of 30 mm side and axis 60 mm long is resting upon its base on HP such that one of the base edges is perpendicular to VP. If the axis of the pyramid is parallel to and 40 mm away from the VP, draw its projections. This is, you know, this is pretty basic, simple question. Let us see how it is. It is a pyramid, by the way, it is a pyramid. Let us come to the AutoCAD. As usual, we will go for uh, limits. We will check the limits. We will set our limits from 0 to 0. And, uh, and then we can check the units. It is in meters, it is in OK. Then we can press Z, enter, V, enter. Then we can draw a straight line. Around 200 mm. Like, uh, this is your x y. Then, uh, as per the given question, the question is that base on HP. So, therefore, from the top view, it will be looking uh, the true shape of the pentagonal pyramid uh, or the pentagonal base will be visible to us. So, base is on HP. So, let us draw the base first. So, let me select a line of. Uh, what is the size? 30 mm. Sir. So I will draw a 30 mm line like this. 30 mm line. And then uh, we will select a polygon option. Polygon option. And the number of side is 5 because it is a pentagon. Press enter. Then instead of pressing center point, you press H. Press H here in the command line. Or else you can press E and press enter. Then it will go to the specify one end point of the edge. So this is my one end point of the edge and this is my second end point of the edge. The first line whatever I have drawn, I am selecting it and delete it. So this is one pentagon. The pentagon need not be like this, right? It can be of any in any rotation. So I have drawn it a straight line like this. Instead of drawing straight line like that, I can draw straight line like this also. Right? I can draw, I will not press R though and I will keep it something like this and I will press 30. Like this also I can draw it. Then I can go. Then go to the polygon, then number of sides is 5, and then edge, and with this also you can. So, in this way, also, this is also pentagon. But what is given in the question is that such that one of the base edge is perpendicular to VP. When it is perpendicular to VP, this is the perfect position. So, I am selecting this is my edge. So, first line, whatever I have drawn, that is nothing but my edge. So that edge is perpendicular to VP. You can see this is uh, angle is 90 degrees. I'll show you to you here also. I'll show you to you here. So with this edge to the line, it is how much 90 degrees. So perfectly, what is the question is given? That is what I have done. It is a pyramid, right? So I have to select this, and uh, whenever I am seeing from the top view, the lines will be visible. Or the edges will be visible, or the faces will be visible because because it is a pyramid. So when I'm looking from the up, it will be looking like a straight lens. So this is my pentagon. I can give the names for it beforehand. Uh, I'm drawing the I'm giving some color. I select this all. I'll give some red color, and I can give names MP and F. So I'll select this as my first point. I am giving some sizes 5 and this is small a. So small a. And this is small b. Okay, I am not giving any dashes here because dashes will be only there in the front view. Here it is small c. small d so now since it is a pentagonal pyramid and uh, it is not given any information regarding the uh, front view so we need not worry about where we should keep it here on the this front view portion. So directly we can select a line like this. It should be perpendicular. So 
I'll draw it again. I'll press R the on and I'll press the left and here I'll draw a straight line like this. And I'll project the points A, B, C, D on this line. That will become the base of the frame. So I'll select some separate color. So for all the projector lines I'm using here in the color. Then I'm drawing B, then E, then A. B is also at the same point, right? So A, B will be the same point. And similarly C, C and E will be at the same point. You can see. So therefore, if I give the names now, if I give the names now, what will be the name? It will be something like This is A, so this one becomes A dash, this one becomes A dash, as well as we have B dash also at the same point, B dash. Then this is C dash as well as E dash, E dash and C dash are both at the same point. And this is your B dash, you will get here it as D dash. This is your B dash. So this particular line from here to here is nothing but your base of uh, your friendly of the base. So this particular thing, I'll do one thing. I'll delete the beforehand drawing, and now I'll draw a straight line from here to here, and I'll give red color for it because that is the base line which I've been selecting. Now, if you observe carefully, this is not finished here because since it is a solid, we'll have the front view top one also that is the axis is given to us here what is the axis given here the axis is half how much 60 mm length therefore that 60 mm length will be visible from this point to another point so how do you select so do one thing do offset do offset and uh, select this uh, line of select offset and use 60 mm and select this line and offset offset select this line and offset about so this is your 60 mm distance line so that means the access point will be somewhere on this but where is the access point you can see it from here this is your o point which is the axis so this is where you'll get the o dash point so that means this is your this is your o point therefore this becomes your o dash point O dash point. That is how you get. Then, whenever you are seeing from the front view, the faces also will be visible to you. Even the edges also will be visible to you. Therefore, whatever the lines are there, that is D O D dash O dash and C dash C dash O dash and also B dash O dash. These three will be visible to you. Whereas A O and E O, these two edges will not be visible because those two are back side but since they are already on the same lines like o dash e dash and o dash a, uh, a dash they will be vanished so so this is how you so even now this line is not necessary for me so i can select it and i can delete it in this way. so next step in the line what is given perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp this up to this point it is given. if the axis of the pyramid is parallel to and 40 mm away from the line let us check if the axis is parallel or not. Axis of the pyramid is parallel or not. Where will be the axis B? Is this the axis or not? O. So this particular dot O is the axis line, which is straight line, which is visible here. You can see here, here. That is actually parallel, right? Wonderful. Now, then the 40 mm away from VP drives projections. So axis is parallel to VP as well as it is 40 mm away from the VP. Therefore, what I can do is that I can select this whatever the obtained thing is there. I'll select whatever I've drawn that. I'll do one thing. I'll copy it and I'll move it. I'll keep it somewhere here. Now it is on VP. Now what I'll do, I'll select all these things and use move command from the base point. That is nothing but the axis point which is how much has given in the question it is 40 mm so 40 mm i have moved it down if you want you can check it here from this line up to this one it is how much 40 mm you can see here this is 40 mm so that is what is given in the question perfectly done.
So automatically when I'm drawing this, if the axis of the pyramid is parallel to and 40 mm away from the VP, draw its projections. Wonderful, everything is finished. Then what we can do is that we can just copy it, all the things which are selected, and we can just place it here like this because here we are not twisting anything directly with the information is given regarding the axis so one information is finished if you want even you can check these things also that is projections also can be drawn and see so you'll get the same point i just copied it and pasted it so this also you can get the projections from a to b also this from here this point also you can select it and to go to go dash also you can print so once this is finished all the matter is finished if you want you can uh, in, give the information regarding the 90 degrees also that is this line and this line will be 90 degrees to each other that is given in the question course so that one is also in, given and also other information like uh, axis length that is uh, dimension of this from O dash to this one is how much 60 mm which is given as well as the length of the base uh, pentagon is also given that is can also be shown this one is also show which are going for linear dimension and going for uh, uh, aligned dimension so i'll select the aligned points b and c and like this you can get this aligned dimensions b and c you get the this. now even these things i'll change it to the white color only once this is finished everything whatever given in the equation is finished so that is how you do it so it's very pretty basic thing he has not even shifted anything it's just a parallel question simple question simply it is finished so this is how you draw this thing so all the information given in the question is in, uh, shown here so that our diagram is finished